Welcome to Basel, everybody. Basel just might be the most unique city to visit in Switzerland. We spent three days exploring this historic city on the Rhine River and discovered that while Basel has an incredible old town filled with beautiful architecture, it also has one-of-a-kind attractions. In this video, you're going to discover all the reasons to fall in love with Basel, Switzerland and put it at the top of your travel list. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to click on that bell for updates whenever we post a new travel video. I'm ready, I got my knee pads on, my life vest, ready to head out on the Rhine River. Awesome! A Weidling is a traditional boat that dates back 2,000 years. We took a trip up and down the Rhine with Weidling Basilea, where we learned how to row a Weidling boat and learned to spike our way upstream. It's a fun way to see Basel from the river while learning about the city's history. Well, this is one of the most unique experiences I think I've ever done. Yeah, for sure. I love doing traditional ways of traveling, and I love that here in Basel, they're bringing it back. Well, I think it's great that you get to be part of the history rather than just read about it or look at it. That's a, you got to do this when you come here. Oh, this is pretty fun, day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got us through the hard part. So what? now Dev can take over and no, stockle no, no. on the easy part. Yeah? <laughs> yes. We're so lucky to have Dave here. <laughs> that should be on a t-shirt. Wow, you're really moving against the current. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. impressive. It's, yeah, it goes pretty fast. It's really impressive because we're going against the current right now and they're just pushing by hand. There's a lot of skill and strength yeah. involved, I think, but they're making it look so easy. Way easier. <laughs> Not going to be the same when we do it. <laughs> I really love it. It's such a, a great way to see Basel from an original way of transport. And you get to see it from a different angle. And I think that's a, another great thing about doing this activity here is that uh, you see the whole city from a completely different way than you would if you're just walking along the shoreline. Get on the water when you come here. Oh, wow, that was so much fun i'm telling you look at this river like what a one-of-a-kind thing to do to go vitaling on the river rhine here in basel switzerland we are e-biking around basel this morning and we're going across center bridge and right behind me is a little uh historic site where women were thrown from the bridge when they thought that they were witches or sorcerers and uh, they were tossed over to their death however there were some rebellious nuns who would save them once they were down river before they drowned. So it's a pretty neat little spot here on Middle Bridge. While well, getting an e-bike is a great way to just get out of the main area. I'm going to places I wouldn't have gone before. This is really fun. We're heading out to where the three countries meet and the e-bike makes it so easy. We've made it out to where the three countries meet. We are standing in Switzerland, everyone, and right behind me is both France and Germany. This is a really cool place to come out to. Get yourself an e-bike and ride around, and we're doing the grand tour, everyone. This is so cool. I really love e-biking. It's such an easy way to get around. You don't break up too much of a sweat, especially in some hot weather here. And it's just a great way to cover a huge distance in the city and see everything there is to see. Now, let's go.
I would say that one of the coolest museums you have to visit here in Basel is the Baylor Foundation. It's a little bit out of the downtown core and we got here by e-bike and it's a great place to visit. It has uh, modernism art. You'll have, you'll see Andy Warhol, you see Suzanne, you see Monet and Picasso even. It's really spectacular. Uh, it was the private collection of Ernest and Hilde Baylor and they made it available to the public. We're just riding along the river on a private bike path and we're heading off to our next beautiful museum stop. The Vitra Museum is in Germany actually and it is connected by a trail that has all these art installations. There's a path that connects the two museums together and this is a very cool museum because you cross the border into Germany and there's so many amazing art installations it's really worth coming over on your e-bike. Oh, this is the way to get around, I love it. Nice and easy. Well, we're taking the ferry here across from the cathedral side over to the other side of Basel. It's cool because there's a cafe down here. You can grab a drink or something to eat uh, before you head on over. So let's go. Okay, one of the things you have to do is take the ferry across. There's no motor. They use just a, a line and uh, let the current move them across. I think as they use their rudder to steer maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. A unique mode of transportation in Basel is the Reaction Ferry. Located between Basel's five bridges are four Reaction Ferry terminals that take passengers from Gross Basel to Klein Basel. Instead of using a motor, ferries use a cable and rely on the river's current to propel it across, positioning the rudder to allow the current to push it in the right direction. It costs just 250 Swiss francs and we caught the ferry from the river path just behind Basel Munster. It's cool, the most silent crossing I've ever been on. Well, normally the river is packed with people swimming this time of year, but there was a lot of rains this year, so it's not recommended to swim. However, some of the locals are getting in there. I guess if you've been doing it all your life, you feel comfortable. But the current's pretty high. There's a lot of logs in the river right now. If we were here on any other time, except for after the rains, this would be full of people swimming. But as you can see, there are some hardy people going in. Basel is a city of fountains that you can drink out of, but this one you actually don't drink out of. It's just a work of art. Fountains play a huge part in daily life in Basel, used as cooling stations and places to fill up water bottles. But the Tingli Fountain is a unique work of art where iron figures mimic the motions of actors and dancers that once occupied the stage at the old city theater on this site. We were told that one of the favorite pastimes of the people of Basel is fountain swimming. And we've seen quite a bit of it since being here. They treat the fountains like a public pool. It's really great to see everybody just splashing around in the summertime. Make sure you come to the Basel Cathedral and go inside and go to the back and check out the crypts. Basel Minster was built between 1019 and 1500 in the Romantic and Gothic styles. It is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the city with its two towers standing tall over the River Rhine. Its beautiful cloisters in the back are a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of the old town. If you find yourself at the Basel Cathedral, make sure you walk down a little alley to the Cultural Museum. It's a really beautiful blend of the medieval structures around me, but they have built a new addition, a hanging garden and a modern piece of art. Check it out. Basel 
Basel used to be a fortified city and it was surrounded by a city wall. As it expanded, they took down the walls, but there are still three gates in the city that are intact and there are some remnants of the wall. If you walk down to the area of the paper mill on the river, you will see a great gate and part of the city wall that is still intact. It's one of the three and it's not only a great stroll by the river, it is really a beautiful little park here. Make your way to the city gate. This is considered one of the most beautiful city gates in all of Europe. And when you see it, you can believe it. The Kunstmuseum is one of Europe's biggest art museums. The combination of stunning architecture with modern and contemporary art on display makes visiting the museum one of the most popular things to do in Basel. When you purchase a museum pass, you get 50% off entry to the museums and you definitely want to do that because there are so many of them. I really enjoyed my time in the Kunstmuseum. There's several levels. My favorite are all of the sculptures and the modern art. It's really fantastic. Make sure you walk down the street in Bergasling because right behind me is the smallest museum in Basel. And there's a lot of them, so this is cool. Basel has a gorgeous old town and taking a walking tour is a must. Start at the red facade of City Hall and make your way around the cobblestone streets as you get lost in the historic alleyways. Basel may have a rich history, but it also has a very urban vibe. Make sure to seek out some of its more modern architecture and contemporary designs. Well, one of the most Instagram worthy spots in all of Basel is at the convention center on the other side of the river. It's a very modern building where all of the conventions happen and uh, it's pretty quiet right now, so it's a great time to come first thing in the morning to get your shots. One of the great ways to see Basel is to take an Arts Tubely street art tour. It really takes you to different parts of the city to see all of the hidden street art throughout the town. And then you end here by the train station. And this is one of the coolest pieces of art. It is a face that is smashed in a big pane of glass. When you walk by, the glass looks like it's just completely broken. But when you look at it through a cell phone, it is a face. And when you look at it from afar, you can tell it's a face. But if you're just walking by, it looks like a smashed window. It's incredible. So much street art here in Basel. It's kind of interesting because it's all commissioned, um, but it's also somewhat hidden. So I do highly recommend a tour to find it because it is so hidden and they know exactly where all the spots are. One of the bucket list things to do here in Basel is to come to Le Trois Rois, the three kings, and have a little aperitivo on the terrace. Having a cocktail or dining on the river is a must and Les Trois Rats is one of the grandest hotels in Basel with a 300 year old history. Don't let its grandeur intimidate you, they are friendly and welcoming. Basel is a city you will fall in love with and if you are in Switzerland make sure to add this cultural capital of the country to your itinerary. You'll enjoy the perfect mix of history and contemporary travels. In a nutshell, Basel has it all. If you enjoyed our video don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and we'll see you next week when we put up our latest travel video.